Circatrix red attack, Circatrix hyper red with the carbon sword, and the plus 20 crimson carbon damage with the prospector's nightmare card in effect. Good way to go, Lilith. What? I had to use my carbon points to charge my panther arcanium. That lot of good your panther arcanium did against his carbon sword. Zaz, didn't your Blackwood Courier gate let in the Circatrix Red? All of my gods calling, get off my ass! Just saying. Ugh. Will you just finish this off, please? All right. All right, so Circatrix Hyper Red is voided and returned to the R pit for 30 record cores. I exchanged the 30 record cores to deal Cryonite Mercury. Rolling to activate with plus 20 Crimson Carbon bonus. 20 Crimson Carbon bonus? Ugh! These, ugh! These are so OP, they're, they're so broken. These. These mages are just, ugh! You know what? Just wait until the evolution set comes out. Your ass is mine at the draft. I already told you, I'm not going to play the evolution set. I like the game the way it is. Somebody else can emasculate you at the draft. Someone else can emasculate you! Nice one. Shut up. Right. Speaking of the draft, Becca. <clears throat> Speaking of the draft. Hello? I'm sorry. I was back in World War II again. Hurry, before my consciousness leaps again. I'm sorry, what? Ugh, here comes the future. Everything's in soft focus. Okay, crazy. Uh. Well, we are still too shy of the minimum, even with me and Zaz and Lilith and... What the hell, Barry? You didn't sign up for this? There's some Kevin Farber guy I've never heard of and you didn't sign up for this. I'm signing you up, Barry. Solidarity, man. Idiot. All right, so with now with Barry and then my uh, guildmate from WAD coming, we're still one shy. Is your boyfriend gonna come play or not? Or is he Kevin? Is he Kevin? Wait, no. No, no, he's not. And I don't think he's gonna make it. What? Isn't he your boyfriend? Like, can't you just like threaten to withhold the Wonder Twins if he doesn't play? I'm sorry, the what? You know, the Wonder Twin powers activate. See, come on, you know. Who else do I have to murder for naming my breasts? Kang and Kodos. Skeeter and Scooter. Mary and Pippin. Sam and Twitch. How many names do you have for my breasts? Not a lot. Look, it doesn't matter. He's not coming. It's out of Sam and Twitch's jurisdiction. You know, it's it's been a while since we've seen Sam and Twitch on the case. I mean, maybe they're getting too old for this shit. The hell they are. Sam and Twitch always get their man. I want to this wicked hot death lock girl too, but I'm being followed. Don't tell her I'm here! What about death clock? Tell her I died in a fire! Close casket! Hi, can I help you? Not really. Just looking around. You must be Becca. If you insist. Can you give this to Tom for me? I owe him an apology. Uh, I'm not sure he deserves one, but sure. When I see him. I heard he died in a, in a fire. Closed casket. Couldn't see him. Burnt like toast. I'd really appreciate it, Becca. I like your toy store. What was that about? Tom's business. I tend to keep to my own, you know, lead by example. Hint, hint. Okay, I get it. You don't want to talk about the X. At men, X Force, X Factor. Choose your next words carefully, bub. All I'm saying is that we just need Cormac to sign up and it just so happens that he's the only one here too shy to talk about your boobies. What does that tell you? The rest of you are not nearly shy enough. Is it safe? Could you just ask him, please? I mean, let's face it. You could use the easy win. Is it safe? It'll get you out of your funk. What 
funk. It has been a long time since Mary and Pippin have ventured out of the Shire. Colin, I swear to God, I will vomit in your pull and hold if you call my boobs hobbit names. Is it safe? Ah, uh, yes, it's safe. Come on out, Marathon Man. Oh, finally. Good. Okay, check it out. <laughs> That's girl luck. It's just death lock with boobs. <laughs> right? <laughs> Merry Christmas, Freakazoid. It's from your girlfriend. Oh, okay. Stop taking. I'm thinking anthrax. The band? Sure. Oh, better not be. I have to go. So? What? An easy win, Becca. Easy win. Come on. I really want to surprise my guild me. She's never been to an actual booster draft before, you know? I want, I want this to be special. Really? Yeah. It's kind of fucked up. I'll give you 20 bucks. Tabu! All right, Wonder Twin Powers. Activate. You got this. Hey, Cormac. Hello, Becca. <sighs> so I heard that you're not going to the draft. That's too bad. Uh... Pizza bean. <laughs> I'm uh, going to the pizza bean. I'm gonna eat at the Pizza Bean. I did, hadn't had anything to eat today. Oh, I didn't know that you liked the Pizza Bean. I like Pizza Bean. Tell you what, I'm off in 20 minutes. How about I meet you at the Pizza Bean in a half an hour? Maybe you'll change your mind about the draft. I like Pizza Bean. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Becca. You won't regret this. Yeah, because regret is too weak of a word. Hey, Colin, cover for me. I have work to do. You said you were on another 20 minutes. You called my boobs hobbitses. Filthy hobbitses. I thought it was sweet. Thank you. I love it when a plan comes together. I'm trying to appeal to a 19-year-old virgin. <sighs> Pandering. Awesome. Thanks for all the positive female role models, comic books. I don't understand. You said that we had to be a part, that she wasn't ready to accept our special destiny. Of course she isn't. This is a test, and you are about to fail. Just tell me what you want. I love you. If you love me, then why are you taking her to our pizza bean? Just tell me what to do. This is your command. The decision's yours to make. You're weak. Don't listen to him. You can't even trust him. That's not even a real mustache. You shut your fracking mouth. This isn't helping. Five more minutes. Five more minutes and we can put this behind us forever. Come on, please stand me up. Five more minutes. Just walk away. Just walk away. And there will be an end to the horror. Becca! Hey! I was just on my way to the comic shop to see you. I thought you were working later. Oh, really? Um, I, I was, but I got off early, so... 
are meeting someone here, aren't you? I'm sorry, I should go. Oh no, 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 no. I mean, no, yes, yeah, I, I am meeting somebody, but I am not <laughs> meeting somebody. I uh, wanted, uh, um... Oh, hey, hey, don't, it's totally cool, like, really. It's, it's okay. I guess all I wanted to say was I, I, I had a really good time the other night, but I felt like maybe there was some stuff that didn't get said, so I just want to lay it all out there and make sure you know where I'm coming from. Okay, yeah. Sock it to me. <laughs> okay, um, so I just got out of this thing, and uh, it was like excruciating. It was like excruciating me uh so i just don't think i can jump back into a thing yeah 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 you you totally get me yeah like we we're on the same wavelength totally like completely 100 percent Totally. Yeah? Totally. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. I just, I, I really want you to, like, understand where I'm coming from. Yeah. No, I completely understand. Totally. Oh. Totally. Totally. I, you're totally, and I'm totally weird. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you get me. Yeah. So few people get me. So, congratulations. This is great. We have, like, a thing. Totally. All right. See you later. Come on. All right. Enjoy your pizza. Thanks. See you around. Was the great seduction. Fantastic. Southpaw ambushed me with the nicest breakup I've ever had, and Cormac stood me up. Hmm. Well, you seem relatively chipper about it. Relieved, actually. It's like I've been let off two hooks. Hmm. And uh, it's reminded me how little I actually care. Like, this much. Hank Pym. But what about the draft? What about the draft? You can't tell me it's not some sick part of you that actually looks forward to playing Midnight Doogie Den without being too blitzed to remember. My sick parts aren't as sick as your sick parts. And the illustrated woman? Well, she be your doogie date. Sativa? <sighs> she, uh, doesn't really strike me as the Doogie Den type. What does she strike you as? I don't want to talk about it. How does she woo herself back into your life anyway? I never took you for the, uh, Masochist type, I mean, not physically. I don't want to talk about it. What's that present she got you? What is it? Is it her pinky toe? <sighs> she found, God, I, don't, I don't know where, but she found a Lord of the Rings, one ring, cock ring. One ring? To rule them all? And one ring to bind them. To my cock. A Lord of the Rings one ring cock ring, Becca? What was I supposed to do? That's... Incredible. I gotta see it. Google it. Bring it. Sterilize it thoroughly. But bring it. Um... I can't. It's been returned to the fires of Mount Doom. Is that a euphemism? For vagina? 
vagina. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs>